Time now for Health Matters with Sherry Sellers, and you have some help for day, today for people that sweat too much. Mm -hmm. Guy in that dump truck, he's sweating. <laughs> right now, he's Probably. sweating. He's sweating. Not normally an everyday problem, maybe. <laughs> this is about people who just are, just sweat out of control. Right. They step Just's outside, good. immediately covered with sweat. You can see it dripping down their faces. I think we've all met someone like this. The medical name for it is hyperhidrosis. It's not only embarrassing, it can affect your job performance, your confidence, your life. Imagine trying to date with this problem. Mm -hmm. In the past, heavy sweaters have had few choices when it comes to treatment. One of them, pads worn under the arms that actually shock you with electrical current. Now there's something far more comfortable and permanent too. Imagine the difference it could have made for this character in the movie Broadcast News. Okay, 20 seconds there. 10 seconds. It is perhaps the most famous sweating scene. Good evening. In movie history. To some security. Any breach of security could upset the delicate balance in your to perspire, intelligence bro. sources believe that information. Don't worry. A reporter gets his big break at anchoring and can't take the heat. This is more than Nixon ever sweated. It makes for great comedy. Just how noticeable is this? Are you seeing this? <laughs> Severely limit NATO's ability. Five seconds. Behind the State Department. But in real life, being a heavy sweater is anything but funny. They don't go out, or they they have to wear pads under their. Their shirts or Dr. James you know, Swinehart began searching for treatments after hearing from a professor, embarrassed to stand in front of his class. The students would be taking bets as to whether the sweat stain would reach his belt line by the time the bell would ring. It's no laughing matter to those who have it. The doctor recommends this to end the embarrassment, liposuction. It's been used for years on unwanted fat. Now it takes away unwanted sweat glands. And, uh, again, these two little holes come right up underneath the skin and suction out the sweat glands. It's a great technique. Especially when compared to surgeries of the past. The older crude procedure used to involve just cutting out part of the armpit. This leaves three tiny holes under each arm that disappear in a few weeks. About 1% of the body's sweat glands are removed, leaving plenty to deal with normal heat loss. Now, it doesn't totally abolish sweating, but it can get it down to the point where conventional antiperspirants can be effective, whereas before they wouldn't touch it. The patient is awake, but drugged and drowsy. His skin is totally numb, which is a good thing because liposuction is tough on the body. And let's get the last bit over here. It takes just over an hour. Right away, the patient can go home, back to work in a day or two, with more confidence and not all the sweat, which means no more embarrassing moments. If only he'd known about liposuction. 120 people were reported injured, at least 22 people dead. Commercial. I wish I were one of them. You have to feel sorry for him. Isn't that just unbelievable? <laughs> the liposuction isn't cheap. $2,900 for both arms sometimes, but not often. Insurance does help cover the cost. There is another treatment, injections of something called Botox, but it's not permanent, lasting only four to six months, and each session runs about $600. The same